Welcome to our live chat. We currently have nobody watching. So maybe let's do some breathing exercises as we wait. Slowly into the nose, almost like you're breathing in through a straw. And that straw is tapped into a high vibratory, spiritual, beautiful light. Um, and uh, a h h h h. Now we're gonna do that again, but when we blow out, keep breathing. You're normal. When we breathe out. The next time, we're going to pretend like we're breathing out through a straw steadily to bring about a fire out of some embers. Let us place that fire in your mind's eye down below the seat of your body. Now let us breathe in nice and slow through the nose. You don't. And now out through a tube into the fire. Ooh, that fire is going now. At the root of your spine, the base has been ignited and energized. We have that primal life force fire energy rising higher like a fiery serpentine tongues reaching up our spine coming into the land of orange filled with passion and love up into the beautiful yellow brick road lit up by our willpower our intention our energy life force we take the yellow brick road into the Emerald City, the green heart filled with bountiful green fields, grass and foliage, in the middle of spring, we have the mother goddess nurture us in our heart space and we go up into the beautiful blue sky so clear and so blue mm, the air is so pure coming in to our nose and mouth and exiting filling our bodies with oxygen fully oxygenated on every molecular level, every strand of our being has pure white light from the highest of heavens pouring into it, bringing us up like a star, taking its place in the heights of heaven in the night sky surrounding us, this beautiful royal dark purple, peace the silence of all silences where we are at peace with our eternal astral body as a vehicle for our soul. And we breathe up into the crown heights. This beautiful violet. Mm, blossoming like a violet flower and a great unfolding of our feathers rising of this chrism are we anointed are we crested the top of our crown 
and let that oil run down your hair, past your ears, to your chin, to your heart, and to your lungs. Oh, down our spine into the very core of earth where we are anchored where we are a channel for the highest brightest strongest light to go into the deepest depths of darkness with this light out of that chaos we create a higher order breaking out of their one world, new world order that they're trying to break, put us in because we are now privy to their symbols, their language, and their plans. And part of their plans is using scripture as a script that they go by. And part of this script is that there will be an Armageddon like war in the end of days, in the end before the messianic age, which is the Aquarian age, before we get to that, they have it scripted that there's going to be a big war of Gog and Magog, and then after that war, world is ran from a one world government out of Jerusalem. The word Israel will come forth from Zion. Well, that means that all the Goyim, all the nations, will destroy themselves. Pitted against each other. Pitting Ishmael, the Arab world, against Esau, the Western European world. And they're using Putin as a Gog Magog figure to wipe out the West, China, and Russia. I mean, since the Russian Bolshevik Revolution, the Russia has been uh, run by the same types who. The same people who started the nation of Israel. World War One and Two. The result of them was the establishment, taking of Palestine, the establishing of Israel. It's a very interesting thread to go through and see just how that happened. These pawn movers at the highest level, banking moguls, mining moguls, trade merchant, ship importers, exporters. These uh, people, these families, these groups have more money, these corporations have more money than countries. And they're in charge of who's in power in those countries. And if we don't like, we, if they don't like who's in power, then they'll use somebody to overthrow it. America and its allies have largely been used to fight Israel's wars, take uh, the 9-11 attacks and the war on terror, which came after that, including the Patriot Act. Joe Biden was an author of the Patriot Act. Still haven't rescinded it. And Trump even had an opportunity to it, but he didn't. Did not. Just another example of 
both sides being owned by this entity. We say they're an ally in the Middle East, but we don't get anything from them. All we do is give them money and and weapons. And now Ukraine and Russia are both, I would say, owned by the same freaking people. Namely, these bigger uh, banking corporations. And they just pit them against each other for another purpose. To drag the West, America in it, into it for the military-industrial complex to make a bunch of money out of it. I don't think it's a coincidence that after we pull out of Afghanistan and leave about well, $800 billion worth of military equipment behind that we start this war over here in Afghanistan. I mean, in uh, Ukraine. Uh, there's plenty of other foreign freaking travesties happening. Lots of them that we have either started or we're continuing right now that is a selectively chosen. The whole Ukraine thing was selectively chosen for you to care about. We wouldn't care about it if we weren't told not to. When uh, they, when Russia annexed Crimea, nobody gave a shit about it. When all the things we done in Syria, Lebanon. It goes on. Uh, if there's one specifically which I forgot the name, which is sad. It goes to show how little we hear of them. It begins with the M. Anyways, so. Damn. Myself for that. I hate myself for that. Alright, so, um, that's pretty much my talk on Gog and Magog and Putin and what he's being used as. Alright, good talk.